Back pain is one of the most complex conditions to treat. So patients will try everything to get relief, from drugs to surgery. Now millions are turning to a popular shot called epidural steroid injections. Now, these shots get injected into a very vulnerable area of your spine for pain relief. But do they really work? And are they safe? I enlisted top investigative reporter Elizabeth Leamy to go undercover to find out. This is the first of a series of exclusive investigations the show is going to be doing to help protect you. Elizabeth, yes. I love this topic because I think there's so much misinformation about it. Mm -hmm. Why do you think epidural steroid injections are so popular? Why are people craving them? Well, they are the number one procedure doctors do for low back pain. And I think the reason patients go for it is that they're marketed as a less invasive alternative to full-on back surgery. But what I found is that no matter if you're poking knives or needles around that delicate area, there are serious risks. So Elizabeth spent the last six weeks investigating these shots, as well as what patients are told before they get them. Here's what happened when she went undercover. Doctors perform epidural steroid injections 9 million times a year on patients desperately seeking relief for their pain. But here's what most people are never told. Epidural steroid injections are not FDA approved. But some back pain clinics tell their patients the opposite, as we documented with our hidden cameras. What is the medication called? Depometrol. Depometrol mm -hmm. is FDA approved then? Yes. For these epidural right. shots? Right, it's specifically designed um, for these injections. We also called more than 20 other pain clinics posing as patients, and all but one insisted epidural steroid injections are FDA approved. Okay, so it is FDA approved, yes. For epidural injections, okay. But that's wrong. The steroids used are approved for your muscles and joints, but the FDA has never said it's safe to inject them into your spine. And yet doctors are allowed to do it. It's called off-label use, and it's perfectly legal. Medicare covers the injections, and famously stingy insurance companies even pay for many of them. But could this back pain procedure be dangerous, even deadly? It's just incredible, unbelievable. Patient advocate Dennis Capilongo's group wants the FDA to limit or even ban epidural steroid injections. People are not being told the truth. They're being literally taken, taken into these injection mills and injected on a daily basis. Collateral damage. So what's the possible danger? The potent chemical cocktail is supposed to go just outside your spinal cord. But if a doctor accidentally injects it inside instead, this can cause an excruciating, incurable condition called arachnoiditis, documented in these pain diaries. I, I can't express how painful it is. Oh, 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 oh. I think that maybe suicide isn't such a bad option. Another documented risk, paralysis. A woman from Deerfield Beach has been awarded tens of millions of dollars after being left paralyzed. A routine procedure called an epidural left her in a condition she never could have imagined. Worse yet, if a doctor misfires an epidural steroid injection into an artery, that could cause a fatal stroke. Doctors who perform the injections say publicly that catastrophic outcomes are rare. But when researchers surveyed doctors anonymously about upper spine injections, 27% knew of patients who'd had dangerous complications, and 4% knew of patients who had died. With potential dangers that severe, we want to know, do doctors adequately warn patients? Armed with our hidden cameras, time to go undercover. We visited three back pain clinics and no one mentioned risks until we asked. But you don't consider it risky? Um, there's always some risk, but the risk is negligible. The risk is similar to if you wanted to walk up here over to the McDonald's and the likelihood you're going to get hit by a car that day. Two out of the three clinics said one of their steroids of choice is called Kenalog. We use Kenalog. Even though every vial of Kenalog says not for epidural use due to reports of serious medical events, including death. The manufacturers who make the steroids most often used for these injections told us they don't condone or recommend epidural use. So why do doctors perform 9 million epidural steroid injections a year? 
Critics point out they can earn $2,000 for each 10-minute procedure. I do about 4,000 procedures a year times 15 years, so maybe 40,000. And that can bring big money. Even more disturbing, some doctors spend just one weekend learning the procedure at courses that advertise epidural steroid injections as lucrative options that create dramatic earnings. It's an excellent course and of course the business aspect of it, which is the part that I'm paying a lot of attention to. Which makes you wonder, could epidural steroid injections for back pain hurt more than they help? Elizabeth, I am flabbergasted watching that investigation. So let me explain, if I can, to everybody why this is a big issue for me, why these shots aren't as safe, perhaps, as folks are making you believe. The idea is a simple one. Here you have the spinal column. You're obviously looking this way, so this is the back of those little bony processes you feel in the back if you were to touch there. And you have little nerves coming off. 